I'm Jeff Rogers. I'm the managing director of Players Workshop, the oldest school of improvisation in the country, based here in Chicago. I'm also a board member at the Museum of Broadcast Communications. And when I think of the holidays, um, you know, other than Christmas and Christmas Eve and all of that, the big memory for me that comes up is New Year's Eve when I was a kid. Now, back then, in the olden days, we really only had the three main channels, and then we would have PBS or WTTW here in Chicago and WGN. Now, what was great with my family growing up, and it was a big family, it still is a big family. There were 11 kids in my family. So everything we did was a huge production, but there were certain times when all of us would settle in and realize that we were gonna spend some time together doing one thing. Didn't happen that often, but New Year's Eve was always one of those nights. I'm not sure why it became a tradition and before any of us were old enough to go to parties or anything along those lines. We would all gather in the family room. My mom would make the special piccalilli dip, which I'll uh, give you the recipe for in just a second. And we'd watch Fred Astaire movies on PBS or WTTW, Channel 11 here in Chicago. I'm not sure why Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers became connected to New Year's Eve. Maybe it was the fact that in a lot of their movies, they're wearing a tuxedo and gown or just the overall lightness of their celebratory movies. Whatever it was, it stuck. And for those few hours, all of us as a family would just sit there and enjoy the incredible songs and dances of these just amazing performers. Uh, now I can't see a Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movie without thinking of New Year's Eve. It just always brings that back to my mind. A um, couple of the top movies, if you want to replicate the Rogers family New Year's Eve tradition, uh, you could go with Shall We Dance? Swing Time is an excellent one, and you can't go wrong with Top Hat. So uh, go ahead and put those in your queue. Uh, I think you can find them on Amazon Prime or some other streaming service. Um, or if you can find one, go to Blockbuster and rent it. Now, here's the big thing. This is the glue that holds it all together. And by glue, I'm not kidding. It's one ingredient away from actual glue. Uh, what you want to do for the relish dip or the piccalilli dip is what we call it in my house. You want to go ahead and get some Philadelphia cream cheese. You want two tubs of eight ounces. Then you're going to add in a 10 ounce jar of relish or Pickle Dilly or Pickle Lily or whatever brand name you want. It just has to be 10 ounces. And then you want three tablespoons of milk. Now, the thing is, there's a lot of disagreement about the actual size of the ingredients, right? Because it goes back and forth. The truth is, it's kind of like the force in Star Wars. You'll know it when it's right. Oh, and uh, only use Jay's potato chips. I'm sorry, that's the only ones that are allowed because they're the best. Also, if Jay's is interested in sponsoring anything at the museum, please feel free to reach out and give us a call. So I hope you enjoy your own traditions at New Year's Eve. You're more than welcome to try the Rogers family tradition, but I hope you have a safe and healthy start to the new year. You can visit us online where we've got some great exhibits and videos, and hopefully soon we'll be able to see you again in person. In the meantime, have a great New Year's Eve. Take care.